Good morning, YouTube. Hey, it's video time again, and uh, it is Saturday morning, about 10.30-ish. Um, I didn't get as early a start today as I wanted to. Um, stayed up too late. Getting too old to stay up that late. Anyways, um, I got out here fairly early this morning, got Tessie rolled out, got the Model A rolled out, um, blew the shop down one more time, swept the floor again, and uh, started getting parts hung and placed and kind of figured what my routing is going to be for spring, what parts need sealer, what parts don't. Um, I may just seal everything. We'll see. Um, but uh, I'll give you a little walk around here and show you what's up. Um, I have, I'm going to be using a acrylic urethane sealer and then Eastwood's acrylic urethane single stage satin hot rod black which I'll do a completely different video on as a review of that um, first time I'm using it I haven't sprayed single stage on a serious scale in a long time so there might be some redos involved um, I'll give you a little walk around here um, I'm actually going to stand under my furnace here kind of pan back um, you can see I've got my new lighting set up, which I maybe won't even need today with it being daylight. Um, so, uh, radiator shell, um, the air cleaner, this worked out perfect. I had an empty thinner can, because I didn't want to hang it, because I wanted to be able to control it. And this way I can still get under and do all that stuff. And So air cleaner on a board, taped, keep some contaminants down. There's gonna be dust in it. I am gonna wet the floor down one more time, but still a garage paint job it's just a matter of how much dust okay so dash piece taped to that stand is gonna work slick um, windshield frame is ready to go hanging uh, I like to hang stuff just it's easier for the air hose you don't have to have so much have to worry about so much obviously I have four stands going which is gonna suck but it is what it is okay headlight rings windshield frame hinge windshield frame upper portion my mailbox headlight buckets other trim pieces yada yada I'm just gonna seal these black and then these will be done I'm not I don't think I'm gonna put any paint on those at all I can just rattle can those it's not a big deal bottom of the air cleaner not a big deal um, radiator shell, I have this set up so I can try to just get in here and spray. I just want to black out the inside. I don't really necessarily need to get it painted because there's, obviously there's going to be a radiator in it, so it's not that big of a deal. I just don't want any gray showing from the surfacer. Um, I have got um, Uber fans set up today. Got two in that window, two in this window. Camper has a cover on it, so I'm not worried about that. Um, so my next step here guys is to go fill up a couple buckets of water I don't want to drag the hose in here because then it's just an opportunity for bugs to get in here um, so I'm just gonna grab a couple buckets swish the floor um, and uh, broom it around a little bit just to try and keep the dust down a little bit before I do that I will mix sealer and have it in the gun ready to go so I can work with the floor freshly wet um, because it's, uh, well, you can see it's, uh, let's see. It is about 70, almost 75 degrees in here. And I'm happy with that. That's where it's going to stay. So anywhere above 65 is just fine for painting. I've never had an issue. Um, so, um, I'll just give you a quick little whoop de whoop Okay. Crossfire. This comes in, uh, or used to, I don't know, uh, black, buff, white, and maybe, well, and gray, of course, maybe red, I'm not sure. Uh, this is going to be the paint. I've already intermixed the two three-quart cans, um, so they are should be consistent for color. Um, I am super excited about this, so I, like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on that. Um, as a review and post it as a Eastwood review um, so and then uh, got my gun going here this is my good gun 
and it's by no means an expensive gun. You guys don't have to spend $1,000 on paint guns. Um, this is just a Finex 3000. Um, I kind of use this as my overall like finishing gun. I don't use it for primer. I don't use it for epoxy. I don't. I use it for color and clear. Um, and it's fine. So um, okay. Next, I will set you guys up for an action video. I think once I start spraying. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll see you very soon. Bye bye.